Welcome back to the Nature in Cage channel. Today I'm asking the question, can a narcissist parent change? I get asked this quite a lot. I work specifically with people either trying to co-parent with a narcissist or people who've been raised by a narcissist parent. And I guess that it comes because we all want to have hope and we're, we're thinking about both ourselves in terms of the relationship that we want to have with that person if they're our parent. But if also about our children, if they're their parents, is there an opportunity for them to change? And I guess as well, we're told so often by the narcissist blood in that they've changed when they're trying to love bombers back, that I want to raise that question, can narcissist parents change? And so I guess it depends on how long you want them to change for, because yeah, they can change. They can change on the drop of a hat. Can they change to be the parent that your child deserves or that you deserved? Again, maybe for a short period of time. Sometimes out in public, they do act like this perfect parent. And that can be really confusing for children because they think, oh, oh, hang on, they can do it. And so then you're constantly trying to find that parent again. Longer term, can they change? A little bit more of a grey area. They certainly have the capacity to change, as do all human beings. The difference is, do they want to? And unfortunately for a lot of them, the answer is no. They're just, they're not prepared to delve into what created them in the first place. They're not prepared to look at themselves and make those changes. Whilst they are chronically aware of the fact that there's something not right with them and that they're, they're internally very unhappy, to acknowledge that out loud would be far too difficult and so it's much easier to blame everyone else it's much easier to deflect any blame it's much easier to claim everyone else is the problem than to actually start on something which they don't they don't want to they don't want to pull at that thread because it would be far too painful for them and i'm not looking to invoke sympathy here i'm just saying that this is what prevents them from accessing the sort of therapy that would work and there are lots of therapies that do work with personality disorders for a long time it was felt that if you had a personality disorder that was it but actually so many advancements have been made in terms of our understanding of what they are and how they impact our brain that we can now offer therapies that do work and i suppose from my interest on this both from a person and a professional when you're looking at them as parents their behaviours are abusive, they, they lack the empathy, they are interpersonally exploited, those are parts of their diagnostic criteria. And so if they're capable of change, then those are the areas from a parenting point of view that, that, that you'll be looking to address, you'll be looking at teaching them and wanting them to develop that empathy, being able to see how their child might feel in certain situations. To be able to look at people as people with emotions and feelings and wants and desires as opposed to seeing them as commodities that can be used for their purpose but are they able to do that um again it's it's a gray area because that would mean admitting that they might be at fault admitting that they're not the perfect parent that they display out into the world and so again that's why they don't want to do parenting courses that's why when they do go to therapy and this is where my professional interest is peaked is when they come for court ordered therapy they play the victim throughout that process they behave as if they're, they're the good parent and the other parent is at fault and when challenged they can't accept that they can't accept that they might be doing anything wrong at all and that's what makes it difficult for the therapist is that in order to get anything out of therapy the individual has to take responsibility and has to be willing to look at themselves that is what therapy is about is that personal growth narcissists don't want to do that it's much easier to see everyone else as the problem than it is to look at themselves and this is why the capacity to change is limited is because actually whilst they have the capacity within their cellular structure within the the um services that are available to them 
They simply refuse to do that. And so what does this mean? What does this mean for you as a child of a narcissist parent or for a child um, if, you, if you're co-parenting, what does it mean for your children? Well, I suppose it means you have to reach a point of acceptance and the fact of the matter is they are who they are. There may be glimmers of hope but actually accept that their personality is set. The only thing that will change that is if they're willing to do it. Nothing you do, no amount of jumping through hoops or bending or compromise is going to change who they are. When you reach that point of acceptance, that can be quite liberating in itself. Helping your children to accept that the behaviours of their parents is not them. Helping them to develop that strong sense of self their own identity, what they want, and listening to them, giving them a voice. These are all things that are going to protect them in the long run. If you're an adult child now, that's the exact same work that you want to be doing. Accessing therapy to build on your inner child, to work on who you really are, what you want to achieve, being listened to, listening to yourself. And that is my advice. So in a nutshell, can a narcissist parent change? Yes, they can. Will they change? it's highly unlikely. If you are an adult child or um, you're trying to co-parent and you're looking for some one-to-one -one support, I currently have on offer two for one sessions. I'll post the link in the description below. Do get in touch and let me know in the comments below with a thumbs up what you thought of the video, what your feedback is, it's really important. And spread the video, let's get it out there, let's take that blame away from ourselves and from um, and from our children that they've done anything wrong let's relinquish them of that and let's look at the facts and reach that point of acceptance take care everyone and we'll see you soon bye bye